Hey, I'm Nick Athlon Gamer. Welcome back to Pro Software Manager 2019 Career Mode, episode number 74. Felty recovered. Edgar Gregg uh, issues training Logan Owen. So, uh, I feel like change column. Was that? It was the right training style, but wrong matchup. Uh, let's see, is this the one? Okay, it is the one. Uh, it's, there we go. Excellent. Got that changed out. Uh, new month, March the 1st here. Next to last day of the UAE tour, the decisive day, stage 7, is flat. Philipson, <laughs> number 1. That's just crazy. That is crazy. Uh, Finances-wise... I'm assuming February was a bit of a loss. It was. It's a little more than January. Uh, most of the February races were continental ones that I bypassed. Uh, we did have a win in there, but it was not exactly a massive uh, payout for the month. So looking at that, you've got a couple thousand. 13,000, there's our win, Valenciana. Uh, so the Valencia race and everything else was pretty small potatoes. That doesn't get us through, but it's it's early in the year, so uh, I do expect that things are going to pick up March, actually, pretty near uh, to now, a couple weeks from now, things really start to pick up. Uh, and speaking of in real life, things are, should be doing that as, uh, you know, the time that I'm recording this is just a few days off from, from here. Uh, but in real life... Coronavirus is doing its thing. A little COVID-19 to uh, brighten your day. Dampen the spirits, maybe. Uh, McNulty in the lead of this race as we head into this stage. It's going to be a tough one to hang on to, but we'll, we'll do our best. We've got some of the best climbers around. Uh, we played it really well on the last climb. This is a tougher climb, and that that's going to play more to uh, the other guys. So if we're lucky, we'll hang on to a top five, maybe a podium. I, I doubt we're going to hang on to the win. Uh, Venipal just onto the list of favorites. McDulty probably just slightly off the list of favorites. Maybe top 15 for him. But again, he's the one in the lead. Venipal's two minutes down, so... Uh, writing for him would not do us any good. We really need to stick with McNulty and give him whatever we can. Hopefully, Avenipol, uh will be in a good race day condition. <clears throat> I was hoping that he would have his fitness peak starting today. It's going to start tomorrow. So, just missing the timing for Avenipol. Just missing literally one day off it's one of those rare times where you wish it was stage racer mode and you can start it early if you have that max level once you get over 90 percent you can see just it's a sliver it is a sliver away and looking at the numbers it will literally hit tomorrow but stage seven's flat doesn't matter Race is decided. Even though I'm riding for McNulty, again, it would help <laughs> if Avenipol was at his best. 147 kilometers, and it's one climb. It does start to uh, hit a gentle slope for the last 50k or so, maybe 60. And that's going to be a factor, especially that's when the pace starts to pick up. But uh, I think we'll pick it up just shortly before the actual climb begins in earnest. Under 30k to go, the breakaway of four riders. That gap is shrinking, it's just over a minute now, and they begin to attack each other, and we're nearly to the base. You can see we're already uh, getting into uh, the mountainous terrain, and you can already see there's also uh, plenty of fatigue starting to uh, assert itself over the field. So here we go. Minute 20 on that breakaway, as they've been attacking each other using whatever they got left. They're 
they'll get swallowed very soon. Two writers off the back uh, that is related to crashes. Nasser Buwani is one of them. Which, that's right where he was going to be headed anyway. All right. Now, fatigue starting to set in. 16K to go. It's a pretty hefty climb here. Uh, we are at least one kilometer into it. Is that a little cobbled section right at the top? Why is it gray? Could be a cobbled section. Uh, look at this. We have our guys providing some support. And we're going to use their gels. To hang in there a little while longer. 14k to go. Pace isn't that bad right now. 12k to go. The riders are off onto their first uphill section. Shells used. Burned up already. 10k to go. Gates going on the attack, which means it's time for me on this nice wide road. Okay, you're gonna be back here. I want a uh, meter behind, and then Mather also. I will put the other three up front. They're not going to last very long. Garfield's the freshest. Felchi. Tinigi. Tinigi right there. Yates leading out Lopez. That's the attack. <laughs> Followed by Yates. Weird to see them on different teams, but it is what it is. All right, that takes us right back to the front. Dinigi can back off, give us a little bit more distance, also give us time for these guys to uh, catch up. McNulty, why are you in the back? Come on, man, you're, you're placed in the middle of this thing. You need to be in the middle of this thing. Meanwhile, we're starting to lose ground on these guys as we get McNulty back into position. So Felchi, now Felchi's gonna have to work hard here. And we've got people all over the freaking place. Take this edge of the road. There's McNulty. Now it's Mather and Mater caught in the mix. But again, this all started with McNulty getting himself out of position. Okay, so we've recovered. The three guys up front, it's Yates and Lopez. Fairly chasing. Uh, Garfield, you're going to give me this and then uh, Venable's got the energy however it's Mather and Mater that are supposed to be next but have they even caught up no Mather you're going to do this try to get Mater back up here at least I can get something out of him Garfield's done Venable's gonna have to go for now but I don't want him to go too hard only five kilometers left Yep, Garfield's done. Uh, let's fix these guys up real quick. Okay, so uh, Vettipol's got to do the dirty work. Four and a half K to go. And he's starting to get us back towards the front. Sivakov doing the chasing for Bernal. And here you go, Gonsalves drop it off, and a pull. Doing well here, Mater hanging on, but uh, only just to the point where he just needs to hang on. Ooh, oh, gap, gap forming, gap forming. 2.6, okay, okay. 2K to go. Venipole. Dig deep of Venipole. One point four. Four 
full hill rating. Come on, 99. And McNulty. McNulty, come on. Cover this gap a little. He's not covering it as well as I would have expected. He's getting outpaced by Galapé on it. Full 99 sprint here. Yates takes the win. Carapaz, Bernal, Demoulin, Lopez, Yates. McNulty takes 7th. Galapé 8th. Fedipal 9th. Huge gap behind us. That's going to be your top 9 in the standings. Almost certainly. Uh, timing. Timing is going to be the big question. Where are we at? Are we... Are we going to slip to 7th, or do we have some sort of time gap? I actually don't recall at this point where exactly uh, things are at. Wow, Mater still hasn't reached. Dang. The gap's got big, fast. That's three and a half minutes for him. Come on, you guys. Do a little something for yourself. Make yourself proud. Make your coach proud. There. Well done. That's how we're going to turn you into a steak. We're going to make you well done. No, not a human steak. We're not cannibals. But with the sprint stage to come, UAE is done. Not a bad result but how much time was the loss and I, I felt like I could have been right there with that group just missed uh, that little split and that, that was on me that was on a Venipole it was 85 pace they accelerated and that gap just opened uh, energy wise I think we timed it relatively well it's just we needed to uh, chase a little harder Initially, it's only 14 seconds. Okay, it's only 14 seconds. So Simon Yates, Carapaz Bernal, Tumulon Lopez, same time, but Adam Yates. And then McNulty at 14 seconds. Avenipol at 34 seconds. That's going to move him up the standings a bit. So, okay, uh, let's not go straight to the general. We're going to do mountain first. Bernal by two points. McNulty has the points classification, but Ackerman, sprint stage coming. Yeah, you can see what's going to happen there. Still have the lead. Yes. Okay. Okay. What? We're going to win this race. McNulty by 13 seconds. So we did do enough. Carapaz to Mulan. Yates and Yates. Galpan. Lopez of Venipole does actually move all the way up to ninth place. Gardarin, Chicone, Martinez, Alaphilippe. Sweet. Uh, I need to get to my calendar here in a moment, but let's wrap this race up. They go stage seven. It is a sprint. But we have Omlupet Nusblad. Oh man. Okay. Uh, and we are, we're bringing the team. We're bringing the team. Mads Peterson, Jasper Phillipson, Dylan Van Barl, Maxime Ooms. That's our top guys. And then we've got guys that are good on flat. Everybody's got a minus one. It's cold and cloudy. So it's blistering cold today, apparently, and uh, it's going to impact everybody. Everybody's got a minus one race day condition. Never mind the results of UAE. You already saw it. Sprint stage, that's not going to impact anything. We've got the win. So next up for us will be on loop news blood. Uh, first two cobbled sections are well before we get to everything else. I think we'll join in right before this... Uh, this minor climb here when the action starts to get good. Quarter of the way into Omloop at Nusblad. Small break away and they had a near five minute break and we've already pulled it back inside of two minutes so it went out very quickly. Teams decided to, to come back and now somebody else thinking that they should uh, try to join them up ahead. 
I actually have the favorites for this race. However, the favorites that I have, I don't think are actually the favorites for this race. Look at its profile. A little uphill, not too many sections. This last little bit here, there's, what, five sections in there? One of them on a hill? I think there's a chance that during that section, the field is gonna split massively and we'll get down to a small group. Eight, 10, 12 riders. But if Philipson is still there, I actually make him the favorite and not Van Barla or Peterson, who, to my liking, are the favorites actually for this race. Rain starts to fall. This does intensify the situation significantly, of course, in real life, more so than what the game is able to uh, get into the coding for this. Uh, but even when it's wet, you do see more crashes. Just not what we'd normally get in the race itself. Okay, three guys going, and yeah, I'm fine with those guys going. Go ahead. But these guys. So, I have a plan for this race, and that plan is let the other teams do the work as long as possible, as long as the uh, break doesn't get too far out, and then we're going to go sprint train and attack those cobbled sections pretty hard, because I've got a team that is built for these cobbled sections, and I do want to thin that field out. I'd love to see it get down to dead 15, 20 riders, but I'd like if Philipson was among them, so we're gonna push hard, but we're not gonna push that hard. Now, um, now the race has changed a lot in a short period of time. There are now 16 riders away, and it's a six and a half minute break. This is the time to change this up. Get somebody. Oops, why, why are you way back here? Odd. We're into the second half of the race. The riders are going to be more and more on their guard. Okay, so we're not the only ones trying to chase her. These guys trying to get into the break. Either way, it's down to a five and a half minute gap, so uh, it is working to pull them back, whatever it's doing whether these guys are chasing or attacking, and it looks like they're trying to attack, but... Daniel's keeping them from getting off the front. But meanwhile, we're down to five and a half minutes. And the Peloton's down to 33 at the moment. Big crash has split the field temporarily. Sean Bennett is among those who have been left behind. Looks like contact's going to be made here pretty soon. Yeah, there's the pursuit. Oh, maybe not. That was a group getting up there. It's out to a minute. Again, the chase is on to remake contact, and we hit the second cobbled section. So Peloton has 36 riders, chase group has 22, and we are starting to see some splits already. Some of this will come back together, but I'm not sure that it's all going to come back together chance that it'll only be some. So early on, we're already doing some damage. Four minutes to the front of the field now. Daniel doing his thing, and meanwhile, I think I need to get somebody. Looks like this group's about to make contact, so we'll be at 58 riders. I'm completely fine with that, but I'd like Bennett to get water for everyone, and not just himself. So, let's see. Contact. Contact. There it is. Okay, Bennett, get some water, and then we'll get it back to the front, protecting uh, Philipson. 16 away, three and a half minutes. 
and it's just the one rider chasing. Reichenbach crashed on that corner. Looks like he collected some other guys after Bennett had gone around the corner. Daniel just hanging on energy-wise. He's about to be done, so we are going to have to move on to our next guy. And there you go. Daniel's done. Uh, let's just set you to stay put. Uh, Godry, you're the next one. 77 seems to be a good pace, though I think the breakaway has picked up the pace slightly, so we're going to go 78 now. Reichenbach is out of the race. Uphill swing here. One of the bigger uphills. At the highest elevation we're going to see the rest of the way. So we get close a couple times. The pack is beginning to cut the lead. Next up, two-star section, and this is where it's starting to kick off. Daniel hasn't been dropped yet, so Godry's not going that quick. Oh, ooms with a puncture. Ooh, nice recovery, though. Stays in the peloton. Acceleration out of Godry before we replace him. Fifty-eight left in this group. Uh, Sean Bennett. Sure, he's next. And again, we're going to turn up that pace a little bit more. Godry still leading out. Interesting. Okay, there we go. Now it's Bennett. Did not realize that we were hitting this. And Barl and Peterson are actually riding away from Bennett's lead out. Twenty-three at the front. Bennett makes it into the group. Phillipson in the chase group. Daniel and Godry have both been dropped. Phillipson regains contact, and we're down to 42 riders. Meanwhile, Bennett working again. So I'm down to the four guys with Bennett leading them out. Bennett's about to crack. So from here, want Ooms to start working? I suppose I do. 54k to go. The Marl seems to be the strongest today, but Peterson has a better sprint. Ooms has a similar sprint. Phillipson has the best sprint, but I don't think Phillipson's going to end up making it. So let's put Phillipson on Peterson. And actually, hold on. We're, we're going to switch this up. Not 88. No, thank you. Okay, Ooms is going to go ahead and protect. And then I want you following Peterson. Gonna go ahead and use your gel. We're about to hit a cobbled section. Stay up as best you can, which is not good. He's the only, he's not the only one dragging behind a little bit at the back of the group. Yo yoing. It's actually recovered a little bit here. Little burger with the puncture. Bennett out the back. Ooh, that group's close behind. There's a collective ball with several riders on the ground. We can only hope that they all get back up. A rider is down. 
By the way, it's still 316 to the front group, but they are starting to explode a little bit. Three riders out the back. The other 13. That's going to be a difficult group to try to keep up. I want Philipson. Can you sit up and let these guys chase and see what happens? Gaps opening. Gaps opening pretty quick. Alright, next section here. The riders are going through a very tough portion with percentages above ten percent. This is where it begins too. This is where I wanted to do something. I didn't realize we're already this far along. Okay, Philipson's gonna use his gel. Who's just gonna lead us out here in a little bit? Thirteen riders, their gap is awfully big. Apparently there's another puncture. Your riders really should pay more attention to their choice of tires. Philipson's gonna sit up. It's always best to be in the lead when uh, the cobbled section. Breaks in the peloton can happen at any moment. Four minute gap and we can't even get to the front here. Come on, Ooms. Fight through! Fight through! Jeez, next cobbled section. Philipson's in a better position than we are. We can't get through this pack. And the gap's out to 440. We've lost a minute just fighting to get forward. <laughs> there we go. Booms is going to sprint. Can we get a little separation? We do. We get three riders off front. Okay. Three riders off front. They're chasing. Quite made contact. They're about to though. But let's see if these three can. Okay, Van Barrow's out front right now. But is he the favorite? Oh, it's the sprint after. <laughs> it's a four minute gap though. Uh, we're gonna try to get away with these three real quick. Peterson's in the back. And borrow. Yet another flat tire. It seems to be catching. There's a few riders jockeying for position at the front. There we go. There's a big gap. Oh, Van Barrel's getting away from Ooms. These two, come on, Peterson. There we go. Three bad group on a ninety. I don't know if Ooms can keep up. Dylan Toyne's the only one with us, and actually that's not a bad thing. Well, except for he's a pretty good sprinter, isn't he? We're going to catch those guys. I don't think we have enough of a gap. Oh, I don't think Toyne's is going to make it to us. He doesn't. 16 second gap. 16 clock. Yeah, that's too small. Back off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Back off is uh, Philipson got dropped. And 
and it's a three minute gap. We pulled back one minute, but that's not enough. Kung, Splainer. Who's my better sprinter? It's Peterson. So then Barl's gonna go. Okay, so 11 chasing 13. Lots of attacks. Peterson's right there in position. Comes another attack, I think. 8.9 K to go. There's another rider with a puncture. The sides of the road are not a tire's best friend. Oh, big attack. That's not good. Here's my three guys together though. Um, Outside of the top 20 right now. The finish line is getting close. The right yeah, that's all he's got. And they keep on attacking. Anyone that's low on gas definitely won't be able to keep up. plays a vital role in any race, but when there's a cobbled section, its contribution can be vital. If it rains, a rider's agility is far more important than <sighs> mm, Not the gonna make the it. Not gonna make it. We need to make it back up there. Janssen, Inkhorn. And there's an attack in the front. He could go all the way. The breakaway wins for Mish. He really was the strongest in the leading group. Oh, too early. Too early. 1.3. 900 meters. Now go. Ah, he's out of energy. Gosh, we didn't even get anywhere near the top 20. That was not our best race. That was not a good introductory race for our three classics riders. That breakaway that was two riders that suddenly was like, okay, there's guys chasing them. And then like three kilometers later, they were six and a half minutes ahead of us. I responded what felt like almost immediately, but for them, to, of course I had game time sped up slightly, but for them to just attack and be that far away and the group to get that large that fast, I should have countered that. No no other team was interested, and I put a guy right on it. And, you know, we pulled back two minutes pretty quick with just that one guy, but we just burnt out rider after rider, slowly closing that gap. We got it to two, but then that used up my guys to chase. Once I was out of guys to chase, no other team was willing to chase. So when it was two riders away, everybody was willing. But the moment the group became larger no one wanted to chase uh, it, and we were hung out to dry and instead we got all wet yeah that was a, that was a bad race there are five training camps for the Giro d'Italia they're based on area and because we have a sponsor object objective of claiming a top five finish Eventipol, McNulty, at least those two. I need to try to find a little bit of time to get them trained up, even if just for a few days. Uh, this is a four-stage section right at the end, three big climbs. Uh, 
in that grouping, and this would be probably the best. So let's see if we can try to book something for, I want McNulty and Avenipole. It's gonna take nine days to do. Like I can find one rider, one to two riders. Oh, there's a Venipole. Oh, I think this is when I have uh, McNulty leading. Yeah, Catalonia. So Catalonia, McNulty. I was giving a Venipole a break uh, during that stretch. Let's see if I can find something later. Get Garfield. I can get Mater and Melchi. Melchi. <laughs> Melchi. <laughs> uh, I can get Mater and Felchi during this stretch. I might send guys at different times. Just get them out there kind of one by one. Maynard and Felchie can definitely go. Is this after the race though? No. Oh, oh wait, look at this. There's five names that might be going 14 April to late April. But this is also where I've kind of hit the end of what's on my calendar right now, uh, planner wise. Yeah, 16th. And presidential cycling tour of Turkey. Wow, that's a sprinter's race anyway. Okay. Okay. So I think we can get it into that stretch. Who do I have? Van Barl? Gottwald is going. Felchi. Dianigi. Garfield. Avenipol. McNulty. Mater. Let's check this again. So we're looking at 14 April. Boom. It's 15,000. That's expensive, but I think it can make a huge difference in this race. Might be the only training camp we do all year. Uh, money's going to be tight. But if we're going for a top five in the Giro, we, we need to go all in. It's going to be a big objective. It's our second biggest objective of the year. Behind the uh, Rande van Vlaanderen and Liege Beston Liege at that level. Those are both top tens, but the Giro, top five. Stage win at the Tour, I think we could totally manage that uh, with Philipson. I think we'll get a stage win. I, I think we've got a chance to get the points jersey. But top five, GC, that's, that's, a, that's a different story, right? That's, that's another matter. Alrighty, well, we are where we are. Uh, we got through some races. I'm going to finish up here in just a moment. 
uh, UAE. Uh, maybe we should do that real quick because we're going to get some points for that. Two riders, in, yeah, Ackerman wins the stage, so he'll have the points classification for this one, but we do get the win overall. Second in the points, second in the KOM, but we do win the under 25s, second in the team, so a big one or two type finish. That finishes that. Next up is Strata Bianchi, Strata Bianchi in real life, uh, just this morning for me. I, I recorded this the day before you're seeing this, so... I suppose that would be yesterday. It was canceled. Uh, postponed. Is that the, the term they used? Uh, whatever it was. Coronavirus fears. Has canceled Stratabianchi. Of course, UAE uh, was cut short as well. Things are not good. And in, in the U.S., in my neck of the woods... Uh, it is not spreading like wildfire, like parts of Europe are beginning to. Uh, but it does happen to be my state, where the state of Washington, where there are the most cases and the most deaths in the U.S. But it hasn't hit my area. I'm good for now. All right, let's check out those points now, though, now that the UAE tour is done. Simon Yates has gone top, but Philipson, Gottwald, and McNulty, 2-3-4 in the World Tour. 1-3-16 in the Super Prestige. That's crazy. McNulty on top right now. And as a team, wow, 700-point lead. That's 2nd of March. 200-point lead in the Super Prestige. That's that's pretty cool. That's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye for now.